Hi everyone, Rachel from North Brisbane Psychologists. Thought I'd do a quick post, sitting in the car, waiting at the school pickup zone. I've got four minutes till the bell rings. There's my challenge and the cars start moving. Also I wanted to show off my new haircut a little bit, which I did myself, ponytail haircut method. If you've got long hair and want to cut it yourself, no more hairdressers. So I wanted to start with a quote from Pema Chodron. It's a quote that I just remembered and I love. Very simple. Drop the story, feel the feeling. So what does that mean? I've come to see in my work with people over the years that the thing that keeps us trapped and keeps us in suffering a lot of the time is the story, the mental narrative that we have about ourselves, about the situation, about someone else. It keeps us locked in because it's self-perpetuating. The things we tell ourselves, the stories we tell ourselves about life, about, about ourselves and each other are actually perpetuated by the feelings underneath them. So the fear, the shame, the sadness, the disappointment, the anger, these feelings will keep the story going and the story will keep the feelings going. So we sort of get locked into this chicken and egg cycle of our mental narrative and our emotional pain. Pema Chodron says, drop the story at least for a few moments. Drop out of your head, drop out of your thoughts. This is where mindfulness practice can come in very handy and feel the feeling. Go into your body, take a deep breath or two or 10. Feel what's there to be felt. The physical sensations of the emotions and allow that. This is true acceptance of this moment is to allow the feelings to be as they are. Feel them as aliveness. They're in your body, your heart's pounding, perhaps maybe your stomach's churning. It's not pleasant and you don't have to like it. Just for a few moments, feel the feelings without thinking about them, without labeling them, without letting them turn into thinking and turn into a story. So give it a try and then see what happens. Drop the story, feel the feelings. It's a good way to break the cycle of emotional and mental pain feeding on itself. It looks like the line has started to move, so I'd better go. Don't want to do the wrong thing. I'll see you next time. Hope that helps someone out there somewhere. Bye for now.